It happened right here on this quiet Birmingham street. Two armed men carjacked an elderly man as he was unpacking his groceries. Winter is almost here and construction projects like the one behind me are rushing to get finished before the first major snow of the season. Livonia residents are up in arms this morning after finding out that this park will be demolished next spring. Why? Because it's just not safe. Before COVID-19, the Ambassador Bridge served as the biggest border crossing in North America. While commercial trucks are allowed to pass through, non-essential visitors are banned. I'm outside the 44th District Court where a decision is expected today for the case of the Andiamo Restaurant Group in the city of Royal Oak. If you're in need of some holiday cheer, then come on down to the City of Clawson's annual tree lighting. The event is tonight from 4 to 9 p.m. and there will be plenty of fun for the whole family. Everyone enjoys a hot cup of coffee on a cold winter day. COVID-19 has changed the way we do things and that's why Proving Grounds of Royal Oak is offering a contactless coffee window. On a typical day, this river is bustling with activity, but after a freighter ran aground this morning, traffic has come to a halt. Roke, a local brew house here in Royal Oak, is closing its doors for good, and it's not because of COVID-19. Over 2,000 restaurants have closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and it has left thousands of restaurant workers unemployed and desperate. One company is trying to help. Restaurant Suppliers Incorporated has been serving the restaurant industry for over 40 years. So when CEO Mark Israel saw the devastating effects that closures were having on restaurant workers, he decided to help. Our whole goal really is to help the people that are really getting hurt in this whole pandemic. This industry to date has lost nearly 30% of the establishments and that's throughout the United States. That's devastating. And um, if this was in any other industry, um, there would be bailouts, there would be more help for those people. With the latest stimulus relief package stalled in Washington, Restaurant Suppliers Incorporated has initiated a GoFundMe campaign to help, and it's help that is desperately needed. With restaurants closed for dine-in business for the foreseeable future, laid-off workers are unable to support themselves. I feel bad for my people. This day, I don't care if I don't make any money for a couple of months or three months, we'll close it down. Just I wanted my people to make a little bit of money so they could pay the bills on it because they're hurting, they don't have no money. A server or a bartender is used to getting between 100, 200 bucks tips, and that's at full capacity. Now you're working at half capacity, and with that half capacity, you have folks that are still scared to come out. We all need money. You know, obviously, if we're not open and we have no money coming in, then we have no way to pay people. This is such a great cause, and if you'd like to donate, visit restaurantsuppliers.com. I'm Megan Lee reporting live from Detroit. COVID-19 cases are skyrocketing here in Michigan and health department officials are saying that indoor markets like this one in Royal Oak could be a hot spot for the virus. Now we took our cameras inside to see if merchants and customers are following COVID-19 protocols. It's a typical Saturday afternoon in Royal Oak. Using hidden cameras, we're investigating if people are following COVID-19 guidelines. Remember, health officials are saying indoor markets like this are potential viral hotspots and extremely dangerous. In the first booth we visited, the employee was not wearing a mask when serving us drinks. Diet Coke, please. We made our way to the next vendor. There was little social distancing. It's very difficult to keep apart from people, isn't it? The government has said COVID-19 guidelines will help life get safely back to normal. For it to work properly, authorities say this non-compliance has to stop. It was so busy here. We didn't feel safe and quickly left. It's obvious to us that people inside are not wearing masks or socially distancing. This is putting shoppers at risk as we enter the holiday season. So this is a reminder for all of us. If we're out shopping for those gifts for Christmas and the holidays, be sure to wear your mask and socially distance. I'm Megan Lee, live in Royal Oak.